Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show to you how to derive the mean, variance, and the moment generating function for this kitchen of form distribution. In here, we have a simple version because we have another version for the derivation of this. And it is where the value of the random variable is from a to b. So if you are looking for the derivation of this, where the value of the random variable is from a to b instead from 1 to n, those derivations are on separate videos and I provided the links in the description below so you can check them out. So in this video, we will derive this based on the range of values of the random variable to be this instead of this. So now we can delete this. Now, in the derivations of this, we need to use the probability mass function or PMF for this distribution and it is shown in here as just 1 over n. So now, let's start with our derivations. For the mean, mean in general has a formula of expectation of x where this x is the random variable and for a discrete random variable in here we have a discrete random variable it is equal to summation of we have here x and then times the probability mass function which is in this distribution it is 1 over n so we have here 1 over n and then for the random variable x it has values from 1 to n, so we have here, we have here from x is equal to 1 until x is equal to n. And then this 1 over n in here, it is a constant expression, so we can move it outside of this summation. So we have here, we have this 1 over n in here, and then times summation of x from x is equal to 1 to n. So we have here, when x is equal to 1, we have 1, and then plus, when x is equal to 2, we have 2, and then plus, when x is equal to 3, we have 3, and then plus, you can see a pattern, if we continue doing this, we have plus 4, and then plus 5, plus, and so on, until when x is equal to n, we have n. And then this is a sum of an arithmetic progression and from algebra for this 1 plus 2 plus 3 until plus n, it has a formula of n times n plus 1 over 2. So now the mean will be equal to 1 over n and then times this. Then, we can cancel out this n over n. So, we're left with n plus 1 over 2. So, we have now the formula for the mean for this kitchen of form distribution where the value of the random variable is from 1 to n. So now let's start with the derivation of the variance. Variance in general has a formula of expectation of square of x minus expectation of x where this x same with this x in here is the random variable and then we have another formula for this variance and it is expectation of x squared minus square of expectation of x this expression in here is derivable from here if we expand this square term and do some algebra afterwards 
Now for this expectation of x in here, it is same with this expectation of x, it is equal to the mean and we have derived it to be n plus 1 over 2. So we can replace this expectation of x by n plus 1 over 2. So we have here, it is equal to expectation of x squared minus the square of this. So we have here, n plus 1 squared over square of 2 which is 4. So now let us evaluate this expectation of x squared. For a discrete distribution, it is equal to summation of, we have here x squared, and then times the probability mass function, which is, in this distribution, it is 1 over n. So we have here 1 over n. And then the random variable x has values from 1 to n. So we have here from x is equal to 1 until n. And then for this 1 over n in here, it is a constant expression so we can move it outside of this summation. So we have here, we have this 1 over n in here. And then times summation of x squared from x is equal to 1 to n. So we have here, when x is equal to 1, we have 1 squared. And then plus, when x is equal to 2, we have 2 squared. And then plus, when x is equal to 3, we have 3 squared. And then plus, you can see the pattern. If we continue doing this, we have plus 4 squared, plus 5 squared, and so on. Until when x is equal to n, we have n squared. And then for the sum of series in here, from algebra or from discrete mathematics, it has a formula of n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. So the expectation of x squared will be equal to 1 over n. And then times this. Then, we can cancel out this n over n. Then, for the variance, it is equal to expectation of x squared, which is this and then minus this. So we have here, this, and then minus this, and then we have a common factor in here. We have n plus 1 as a common factor. So we have here, n plus 1, and then times, we have 2n plus 1 over 6. And then minus n plus 1 over 4. And then we can have a common denominator in here, 12. So we have here, we have n plus 1. And then times, let us have a common denominator of 12. So we have here 12 divided by 6 is 2. And then times 2n plus 1 is 4n plus 2. So we have here 4n plus 2. And then 12 divided by 4 is 3. Times n plus 1 is 3n plus 3. And then minus, so we have here, minus 3n, minus 3. Then it is equal to n plus 1. times 4n minus 3n is n, and then plus 2 minus 3 is minus 1, and then over 12. 
So we have now the variance. So we have now the formula for the variance. For this distribution where the value of the random variable is from 1 to n. So now let's start with the derivation of the moment generating function for discrete uniform distribution. The moment generating function for the random variable x as a general formula of expectation of e raised to tx where this x is the random variable and this t is a constant. And for a discrete random variable, it is summation of e raised to tx times the probability mass function which is in this distribution it is 1 over n so we have here 1 over n and then this random variable x has values from 1 to n so we have here from x is equal to 1 until x is equal to n and then this 1 over n in here is a constant expression so we can move it outside of this summation so we have here we have this 1 over n in here and then times summation of e raised to tx from x is equal to 1 to n and for this e raised to tx we can rewrite it as e raised to t raised to x so we have here when x is equal to 1 we have e raised to t raised to 1 and then plus when x is equal to 2, we have e raised to t raised to 2. And then plus, when x is equal to 3, we have e raised to t raised to 3. And we can continue doing this. You can see the pattern. It is plus e raised to t raised to 4 plus e raised to t raised to 5 plus and so on until when x is equal to n we have e raised to t raised to n and then from algebra for a sum of geometric progression until r is to n it is equal to 1 minus r raised to n over 1 minus r. And if we move this one to that side, we have here we have this and then minus 1. So it is equal to, we can have a common denominator of 1 minus r. So we have here, 1 minus r raised to n. And then minus 1 minus r or minus 1 plus r. Then we can cancel out this one and minus 1. So we have here, r minus r raised to n. Over. 1 minus r. And then we can factor out the numerator by r. So we have the r times 1 minus r is to n minus 1. And then over 1 minus r. So this is equal to this. And if we replace this r by e raised to t, this will be equal to this. And it will be equal to this. But r should be e raised to t. So the moment generating function it is equal to we have this 1 over n 
and then times this, which is equal to this, but R should be e raised to t. So we have here times, we have here e raised to t, and then times 1 minus e raised to t raised to n minus 1, e raised to t raised to n minus 1, so we can just multiply this t by n minus 1. And then 1 minus r or 1 minus e raised to t. So now, let us rearrange this. It is equal to e raised to t times we have 1 minus e raised to, let us put n minus 1 first before t. And then over, we have n times 1 minus e raised to t. So now we have derived the moment generating function for, for this kitchen form distribution where the value of the random variable is from 1 to n. So I have already shown you how to derive the mean, variance, and the moment generating function for this kitchen form distribution. I hope you learned a lot from this video and to the next video as well. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe in my channel.